Hello and welcome back to Ropes and Design. I'm Rebecca Robeson. Today I'm going to take you and show you my spring tablescape. Do you know what that means? It's a fancy way of saying mm, the way I'm going to set the table for Easter lunch. in the air. We've been doing spring cleaning, spring purging. The next design session is on spring accessorizing throughout your whole house. Today, I'm gonna show you step by step how I set the table for any occasion. This time it happens to be Easter or spring, but the concepts and the principles are the same. There is a layering process. So the process for me usually begins with deciding am I gonna use placemats or a tablecloth? use a tablecloth which means I got to put my pads down first just to protect the table. It's important when you lay your tablecloth on that you assess all the way around to make sure that it's on evenly. There's nothing like getting everything on your table and then finding out that it's like this long on one side and this long on the other. This time I thought how fun would it be to use real grass on my table and then I got to thinking about my white tablecloth and I decided no that's not so fun that's actually kind of muddy. So I found a piece of leftover AstroTurf and I cut it to fit. So what is that? That is 15 and a quarter inches. So here it should be 15 and a quarter. Oops, a little bit more. And then I use this little picker upper lint brush so that I don't have any extra weird stuff on my table. I know I'm a little crazy about stuff. Step number one, the chargers. That's the big plate that goes under the normal eating plate. I always make sure that my plates are about an inch away from the edge of the table. Number two, I'm gonna put a dinner plate on there. And since this is just for an Easter lunch, I'm not gonna get fancy with all kinds of salad plates and all that other stuff. Knife, this soup spoon, and the tablespoon. And you put them in the order that you would use them but these should all line up in a perfectly straight row. So remember, when you do your knife, that is not the message you want to send to your sister-in-law. You want to go, oh, I am friendly. So this has a little, like, um, I don't know, something that says authentic 100% recycled glass. Hey, we're going green. I typically try to go with things that are more neutral in color so that I can get fun with my glasses and my centerpieces. I got these things, I call them kale sages. And here's how I do this. I take one side and I bring it up. And then, so it's slightly longer on the bottom. And then you just gather it by its little neck and you put its little corsage on. It's a wristband. Wrist corsage, it's like going to the prom. I'm going to move to the centerpiece. A lot of people start by doing their centerpiece first, not me. I actually like to see where the plates lay out because I want to make sure that everyone has enough room to eat comfortably. I use this uh, vintage vase here, which is gorgeous, but it stood it up higher, so watch. If I was the guest sitting here across from you. So, Hazel, how was uh, your ski trip? Got any plans for the summer? That just would not work. Mm -mm. So, as much as I hate to do this, because I love that, but you know what, I'm gonna punt. I will do something else for my center centerpiece. I'll still use the small ones, but I should put this somewhere. I would need to, oh. Ha! Look at this cameraman. Guys, I did not have a piece of art for up here. How does that look? Is that beautiful? Woohoo! All right, I'm so happy because this is going to be part of the design, uh, the design sessions for spring accessorizing. So I haven't um, worked on this wall yet with a piece of art and stuff. So I had nothing. That! <sighs> Quartz glued to glass. So I'm going to do this, and you know what, because I'm doing three in the center, I would like one of them to be taller. Better if I go like that. You see a difference in height? I need 
know what? On Easter Sunday, my grandchildren are coming over and we are actually doing an Easter egg hunt. So they won't be part of the luncheon. They're coming over later. My little bunny here. He has a hole. I think he's a candle holder. Today, he's going to be an egg holder. Now all we need is for someone to know how to cook. So what do you think? Do you like it? Is this a spring table that you could use in your home or something like it? Think outside the box, you guys. That's my whole mantra. Remember that next design session is gonna be on spring accessorizing where I take you through every room of my house and I show you one or two little things that I've done to just change it up for spring. Little things that don't cost a lot but make a big difference. And if you can't watch it live, you can always watch it recorded later. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have a very happy Easter and a great spring break. And we love you guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, and leave us a comment. See you next time. Bye-bye.